Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Crystal Reports provides another useful tool for creating charts from the grouped and summarized data in your reports, and that tool is the Chart Expert. You use the Chart Expert to quickly and easily create graphs and charts to supplement your report data. To insert a chart into your report, you can select Insert from the menu bar and choose the Chart command, or you could also simply click the Insert Chart button in the Insert toolbar. In Crystal Reports 10, this will automatically launch the Chart Expert dialog box to assist you in creating your chart. In Crystal Reports 11, you can click once to insert your chart, and then if you'd like, you can right-click and then choose Chart Expert from the pop-up menu to open up the Chart Expert dialog box. The Chart Expert dialog box is a series of tabs which you click through, setting your desired chart options as needed in each one of the tabs. On the Type tab, you can select which type of chart to create in your report by clicking on the desired type in the Chart Type list. To the right of this listing of chart types, you will see the various chart subtypes from which you can select. You click on the specific subtype that you wish to create at the right, and you can read the description of the chart type in the small text box below the subtype. Also, for some of the chart types, like the bar type, you can select either a vertical or horizontal display by choosing the desired option button at the bottom of the chart type list. If using Crystal Reports 10, notice that Automatically Set Chart Options is already checked. When checked, Crystal Reports 10 sets the chart attributes such as the axis settings, data point settings, and other chart formatting options automatically. If you wish to specify these settings on your own, you can uncheck this checkbox. Depending on the chart type you selected, this will then display two additional tabs, axes and options. On the data tab, you can set the display of the data used in the chart. If using Crystal Reports 10, in the Placement section, you can select where to place the chart object by using the drop-down and option buttons available to place the chart that you will create. In both Crystal Reports 10 and 11, in the Layout section, you can choose either Advanced, Group, Crosstab, or OLAP. Not every choice may be available depending on the data source of the report. Whichever button is selected in the Layout section, however, does impact the display of the Data section of the Data tab. For most reports with grouping applied, the group choice will appear as the default. This then allows you to select for which grouped field's values, if you have more than one, you want to show the summary data by choosing the field to use from the On Change Of dropdown. Then use the Show dropdown to select which field's values to display for each change in the value of the field you have just selected in the dropdown above. If you select the Advanced Layout, you can then specify by which field you want to create the groupings by using the listing of fields shown in the available fields list. Use the drop down to the right of that to then select either on change of for each record or for all records. If you select on change of or for each record, you will then need to specify which field to use from the available fields list. You can select a field and then click the single right pointing arrow button to move it to the list at the right. Then for each record or group selected, you can choose which field summary values to display. Just click on the field whose values you wish to display from the available fields list and click the single right pointing arrow to move it into the show values list at the right. Crystal Reports will then attempt to display a summary value like sum or count for the field. If you want to change the summary used, click on the Summary Fields value, and then click the Set Summary Options button. In the Edit Summary dialog box which appears, you can select the Summary function to display from the Calculate This Summary drop-down. When you're finished, you would just click OK to set the summary options that you wish. If you've selected to show the change in value for a specific field, then you can check the Don't Summarize option to not show a summary of a field if you do not wish to see one for the change in the field shown above.
If you have a cross-tab table as a basis for your report, then you can click the cross-tab layout button to display the cross-tab options to the right. These are similar to the normal group options. However, you also have the option to show the data subdivided by a secondary field if needed. And you can select which field to use for that purpose from the subdivided by dropdown. If you have an OLAP data cube as the basis for your data source, then you will see options similar to the ones that you have for the cross-tab display. You can use the on change of dropdown to select the dimension that you want to use for plotting the values in the chart. Then use the subdivided by dropdown to choose the secondary row or column by which to base the chart. You can click the Other Dimensions button to invoke the Format Other Dimensions dialog box, and in that dialog box you can click on a dimension shown, and then click Select a Field Value to display a new field for the dimension to be fixed to. If using Crystal Reports 10, the Axis tab will only be displayed if you elected to remove the check from the automatically set Chart Options checkbox back on the Type tab. However, this tab appears by default in Crystal Reports 11. You can click on the Axis tab to set the axis of the chart. And depending on the type of chart which you are trying to create, the options on this tab will vary. For some chart types, such as a pie chart, this tab will not even appear as it would be completely devoid of any meaning or function for that type of chart. In the Show Grid Lines section, you have two columns of checkboxes for the major and minor grid lines. Depending upon the type of chart that you are creating, you will then have checkboxes for Group Axis, Series Axis, Data Axis, or Data 2 Axis, and you can check or uncheck any checkboxes that correspond to the types of grid lines that you want to show or hide. In the Data Values section, you can specify what range of data values to plot in the chart. If you check the Auto Scale checkbox, you will specify that the number of data labels is adjusted so that they will clearly display along the data axis. If Auto Range is checked, the data values for the data axis are assigned a default range of values to plot. If unchecked, you can then use the Min and Max buttons and text boxes to set the desired minimum and maximum values to plot. Also, you can use the Number Format dropdown to set the number formatting used for the data axis. You may also have a data 2 axis for which you can set the number display if you're using a crosstab or OLAP report. In the number of divisions section, you can set the number of divisions used for the corresponding data axis. If you select the automatic option, then Crystal Reports will automatically set the number of divisions for the data axis. If you select the manual option, then you can type the desired number of divisions to display into the text box at the right. If you uncheck the Automatically Set Chart Options checkbox back on the Type tab, if you're using Crystal Reports 10, then you can set the Chart Display Options on the Options tab. This tab appears by default in Crystal Reports 11 for most of the chart types. In the Chart Color section, you can specify either a color chart or a black and white chart by just clicking the desired option button. If using Crystal Reports 10, you can additionally click the Format button to launch the Chart Color Format Expert dialog box, where you can set conditional chart colors based on whether or not the data matches the criteria which you specify. This button becomes the Color Highlights tab in Crystal Reports 11, which you can click to set conditional chart formatting. You can set the criteria and colors here, just as you do when using the Highlighting Expert. If you elect to use conditional chart coloring and are using Crystal Reports 10, just ensure that you click OK in the separate dialog box when you're finished creating conditions to return to the Chart Expert. In the Data Points section of the Options tab, in the Chart Expert dialog box, you set what to display for the data points plotted in your chart. You can check the Show Label checkbox to show the label next to each plotted value, or you can check the Show Value checkbox to show the value that's being plotted in the chart. And this is often very useful for pie chart types. If you elect to show the value plotted, you can then use the Number Format dropdown to select the formatting of the values which are displayed. In the Customize Settings section, you can set the display of data markers and pie slices in your chart if the type of chart that you selected makes use of those features. 
You can check the transparent background checkbox to remove the appearance of the background of the chart, allowing underlying objects to become visible through the chart background. If you're creating a line type chart, then you can use the marker size drop-down to select the size of the markers used to plot the data points on the line chart. You can use the marker shape drop-down to select the size of the markers used to plot the data points on the line chart as well. If you are using a pie chart, you can use the pie size drop-down to set the size that you want each pie to be. If you have a 3D chart type, you can set the viewing angle by using the viewing angle drop-down. Also, if you happen to be creating a pie chart, you can also check the Detach Pie Slice checkbox to have one of the pieces of the pie appear detached from the rest of the pie. And you could choose whether it's going to be the smallest slice or the largest slice by selecting the desired option button to the right of that. In the Legend section, you set the appearance of the legend in the chart. To set the legend to display, make sure that Show Legend checkbox is checked. Then use the Placement drop-down to specify where to place the legend within the chart. You can then use the Layout drop-down to set whether to show percentage values, amount values, both, or none within the legend, if that's an option. Now after setting the options in the other tabs, you can click the Text tab to set the options for the display of text within the chart. And here you can set the text to display for the various text elements, such as the title, the subtitle, the footnotes. If you leave the Auto Text checkbox checked, the text elements will be automatically created using the default values assigned by Crystal Reports. You can clear the Auto Text checkboxes, and then just type your own titles in the text boxes to the right, if you like. You can use the Format section at the bottom of the Text tab to set the display of the text in the chart. And to do this, you would just click on the type of text to format within the scrolling list, such as the title, for example. And then click the Font button to launch the Font dialog box, where you can set the font used to display that type of data within the chart. When you finish setting your desired chart options using the Chart Expert dialog box, you would simply click the OK button to insert a chart with the specified settings into your report. Note that you can double-click on a data series within the chart when it's previewed to drill down to display the underlying data on a separate preview tab. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.